Okay, so here we are. I'm in front of my new Mac Pro 12 core tower. I've got a brand new NVIDIA Quadro 4000 for Mac card installed as a video card driving my 30-inch uh, cinema display. I also have Adobe Premiere Pro CS5 5.03 installed and running. And I have a project open that's in HD uh, from various footage or different uh, cameras of different footage that I'm going to play back now using two different method methods. The first one, let's make sure we go up to our project menu. We're going to come down to settings and go over to general. And I just want to make sure that we actually turn off, in this case, we're going to turn off the support for the NVIDIA card. So we're going to say that we're going to use the software only playback engine. This means that it will not be using the video card to accelerate. I'm going to delete all previous previews so that we're starting from scratch. Now, in this first sequence that I have open here, it's four layers of HD video with a Photoshop title sitting on top. And I'll just go ahead and blow this up full screen. We'll go ahead and hit the tilde key. And now I'll just hit my space bar. And the Mac Pro does a great job of playing back those four layers of video with the Photoshop title. So those four layers of HD video, no problem with the Mercury playback engine and software. Even this is a good job of using just the built-in CPU. Now let's go ahead and uh, get out of that. Let's try and make it a little harder. Let's go in and open up this time seven layers of video. And we're going to add a little twist. In this case, we've got six layers of HD in the background with one layer of green screen chroma key HD on top. So once again, we'll select this window, we'll hit the tilde, we'll go full screen, we'll hit play, and once again, Premiere Pro on a Mac Pro 12 core tower doing a great job playing back all seven layers of video in HD. So again, Premiere performance rocks even on your standard machine. So let's take it up even further. Let's go back out of this. Let's grab our next sequence, which is nine layers of HD video. Unheard of before. There's no way you, I would even conceive of trying to do this in the past. But we've got nine layers of HD video. We'll hit the tilde once again, space bar. And even with nine layers of video in Premiere Pro CS5, playing back fluidly in real time on my Mac Pro system without the acceleration. Now at this point you're probably saying, well wow, why would I even need a graphics card if I'm getting this if I'm getting this kind of playback on a 12 core system? Well, the problem is we usually want to do things like apply effects to our clips. So these are just, you know, seven or nine clips with no effects applied to them other than the uh, green screen. So now let's go, go back to a five sequence or five uh, layer sequence. Um, this time we've got multiple effects applied to each clip. So now, again, we're still playing back in software. We'll go ahead and select this window and we'll go ahead and hit the tilde to go full screen. And we'll see if I can deselect that one little bar there. Let's see if I can click off of it and click on something else. There we go. Playing it back. And it starts to jerk a little. It's not bad. It's not horrendous. But it's certainly not playing back fluidly as we were seeing before with the five layers uh, without effects. But it's working. Alright, what happens if we go up a notch? Let's go to seven layers. And same thing, seven layers of HD video. And we'll hit the tilde to go full screen. And play. It even takes a second before it starts. Seven layers. Oh, it's uh, 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 jerking, stopping. It just can't keep up because now we're trying to tell it to play back not only those seven layers of HD, but please play back those seven layers of HD 
with effects applied to them. This is where the problem starts to come in for a video producer trying to preview not only the clips themselves, but the effects they've applied to them. And do I even dare try and play nine layers of video back? Let's go ahead and try it anyway, just for kicks. We'll select this window, and we'll uh, hit the tilde to go full screen in Premiere on the wrong window. <laughs> Let's go back to this window. That was user error. We'll hit the tilde, go full screen, and we'll hit play. And stopped, froze, stop, stop. It's trying its best. It's doing a good job. It's certainly giving us even more than we could do before. Because there's no, I mean, before we wouldn't even be able to play this much. But now you get to see where the graphics card comes in. So, let's back out of this for a moment. Let's go ahead and pull the playhead all the way back to the beginning. And you'll notice that we have the red, you know, normally means you have to render this in order to see it in full, in, you know, in um, real time. Now all I'm going to do is go to my project menu, go to settings, general, and I'm going to switch back on the GPU acceleration. This is where it's going to now kick in with the NVIDIA card and the CUDA support. So again, delete all the previous previews because now it's going to do it from the card. Notice my red line went yellow, which means, hey, you may be able to play this back. You might not have to render it. And now we'll go ahead and switch to that same window. There we go. We'll hit the tilde. So we can go full screen on that. All right, let's try the tilde once again here. There we go. And we'll hit the space bar. And now we're playing back nine layers of HD video in real time without rendering because we have that Quadro 4000 NVIDIA card in our Mac Pro that's able to, that Premiere Pro takes advantage of with the Mercury playback engine and plays it back in real time with all of the effects applied to all of the HD clips without having to render. And those clips were brought in without having to do any transcoding. We're reading the native files from DVC Pro HD from various camera manufacturers such as Canon, Sony, and even RED footage without having to render a single thing or transcode a single thing. We're able to bring it onto the timeline, apply effects to it, and with the support of the NVIDIA cards, we can go ahead and play those effects back in real time, multiple layers of HD, fluidly, anytime we get ready, without having to render. And that's the beauty that is Mercury.